and time to take you on a zip trip this week. We are in Greenville and from that history to all the great food, we're showing you what makes the city so special. Let's get back to Fred Cunningham who's joining us now live from Floor Field in downtown Greenville. Fred. Good morning, Sabila. It's a Friday. We're on a zip trip to Greenville. We are at Floor Field, the home of the Greenville Drive. And Michelle Nance is here. She's with Visit Greenville. We've talked a lot about sports, well, baseball and that kind of thing, but we want to talk about something that we always want people to be responsible, but it's a Friday night, getting into the weekend, and Greenville has so many great restaurants, but especially great breweries. Certainly. Uh, Greenville really is a, a growing destination on the craft beer scene. We have over 20 breweries and are growing. Um, actually, we're in the top 10 per capita in the U.S. for breweries. And um, so there's really something for everyone, even for the non-beer drinkers. And, um, you know, it's a great opportunity to get out and explore on your own or take one of many brewery tours. Yeah, there, and it, this stretches from, you know, Main Street all the way up by the Hyde, all the way to where we are here in the West End. Certainly. So yeah. that's awesome. Let's also talk about just when people like to get out and about. There's a lot of green space, even though I know there's a lot of construction, a lot of things going up. There's still a lot of areas where people can get out and relax. Yes, Greenville has great green spaces, access to the outdoors. Um, from Falls Park in the heart of downtown. Uh, you can walk along the beautiful floating um, Liberty Bridge and take in um, unobstructed views of Falls of the waterfall. Mm -hmm. We've got the um, Swamp Rabbit Trail running right through leading to other parks and gathering spaces. And then just minutes from downtown, there's tubing, hiking, mountain biking, zip lining. There's just so many ways to get out and play in Greenville. That is awesome. Yeah. So much is coming up. We've talked about fall for Greenville this morning. That, of course, is coming up in a couple of months. We'll go through the Christmas season. But if you're a sports fan, if you love basketball, and if you love fishing, 2022 is going to be great, especially the month of March. Yes. In March, at the beginning of March, we're going to be welcoming um, Bassmasters Classic um, here to Greenville and Anderson. And so there'll be a lot of fun for, for fans of, of that sport, as well as basketball, the NCAA men's first and second round at the end of March. Um, so it's going to be a great time to, to get out and see some really great sporting events. Absolutely. They do the fishing in Lake Hartwell, but they, when they do the weigh-ins mm -hmm. here, and it draws a great crowd. And again, basketball. Uh, March Madness here next March. It'll also be back in 2026. And in between, the women's NCAA tournament is here in 2023. Yes. Exciting times. Very exciting. Yeah. Great. Michelle Nance with Visit Greenville. Thanks for being here with us today. Thank you so much for having me. Can we keep any of these? Sure. TV is a great job. Let's set it back. <laughs> Don't to the twist studio. her arm. Don't twist her arm, Fred. <laughs> All right, coming up next here on 7 News, we have a lot more from Greenville. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the city in the special Zip Trip edition of 7 News this morning. We'll be right back.